A lot of y'all have been asking how to level up in the new Grand Peace Online update. So I'm going to show y'all every step to level up from level 0 all the way to max level 575. Starting from here on the Town of Beginnings. Now Town of Beginnings is going to be the first island that you're going to do when you hop on the game. And the first quest you're going to do is Daff over here. Who's going to make you do 5 NPCs. And you're going to farm this one all the way until you're level 10. Once you're level 10, you can come to Jay over here and Jay is going to allow you to do the boss in the middle over there. And once you do the boss all the way to level 15, you're going to be able to come all the way over here to the front of the island. And we're going to go over there real quick to this NPC, Haku. Once you reach level 15, you're going to go all the way directly, directly west to Sandora. After Haku takes you to Sandora over here, you're going to come talk to this NPC, Devontai. He's going to take whatever bucket of water Haku sent you and you're going to do the next quest. Of course, you're going to set your spawn and talk to this NPC over here. And on Sandora, you're going to go from level 15 to 25. You're going to realistically farm these NPCs all the way up until you're level 25, to be honest. But if you want to, there's also a boss up there, but you don't really need to do that boss. Now, once you reach level 25, you're going to go to Shell's Town, which was the most famous town back in the day and to get there you want to talk to rave and he's pretty much going to set you off to shell's town and to get to shell's town we'll do exactly what i'm doing you want to go kind of north we're going to go kind of north and let's go and as you can see we're at shell's town now shell's town is level 25 to level 40. once you get to shell's town you're going to talk to dave over here from the last quest that you did on sandora to finish that quest and then you're going to come over here and set your spawn now the first quest you're going to do is this guy right here. Once you do this quest, he's going to have you kill these NPCs, farm these NPCs over and over again until you can do the next quest all the way in the back of the island. Which, let's go to the back of the island real quick, is this quest right over here. Kevin over here is going to have you farm these NPCs and you'll do that all the way until you're level 40. And of course, if you want to, there's a boss Gozen over here that you could do to do the Axe Hand Morgan boss and get the drop for that now that you're level 40 you want to go to the island of zo which is in between southwest and west and we're going to fly down there right now follow exactly where i'm going directly from shells to island of zo and here we are as you can see we're on the island of zo this island is level 40 to 75. now it's going to be a pretty toxic grind because there's really only one quest on this island which is this npc actually there's literally only one quest on this island but after you're done grinding here once you're level 75 now once you're level 75 you want to go directly north and you're going to go directly north to the baratier and just follow exactly what i'm doing directly north and as you can see we're here at the baratier we're going to be here all the way from level 75 to 105. there's again one quest only one quest on this island so you're going to talk to the chef rice over here and you're going to farm the npcs inside the building all the way up until level 105. and you could set your spawn up here by the way in this room now after you finish leveling up here all the way to 105 you're going to go to sky island and level up there all the way to 175. Now let's go back to Shell's Town real quick. And from here to get to Sky Island, you want to go kind of to the side of the island and go in between Northeast and East. So follow exactly what I'm doing and let's get to Sky Island. Oh, and here's the waterfall over here. I actually almost missed it. We're going to turn a little bit, but keep, uh, keep a lookout on the little rock over here. And you're going to go directly up. Let's fly up there. Now again, this is the island where you go from 105 to 175. You're going to talk to these NPCs to set your spawn. And you're going to come over to the right side of the island and talk to these NPC and farm these guys until you're level 110. Once you finish that and you're level 110, you're going to go to that big castle over in that area. That big, big castle up there pretty much. So you guys are going to come this direction, climb this, and go all the way up here. But you're going to want to set your spawn over at this guy, and then you're going to go all the way up inside the building. You're going to take this quest, Zen, and you're going to farm the NPCs inside of here. And this one is kind of tedious because you're going to do this quest all the way up until level 175. And yes, this is Sky Island, so you could also do the NL boss, which is all the way up there. Next, we got to go to Gravito's Fort. 175 to 190 and you have to go directly northwest to get to there so follow exactly as i'm doing from the rock northwest 
And as you can see, we've made it to Gravito's Fort. And now we're on Gravito's Fort, where you can set your spawn right here, and you're gonna go inside this building and form this quest, which you see right here. We're gonna farm Miska until you're level 190, which you'll have to farm these NPCs over and over again. And there's also a quest in the back of the island as well. I do recommend doing this quest because it does level you up faster, last I remember. And when you're done and you're level 190, you wanna go all the way to Fishman Island, which is, uh, I guess, kinda in between east and northeast. So you're gonna follow exactly what I do when you go to the side of the island. I'm gonna go kinda in between northeast and east. As you can see, you can see the Fishman Cave over here. So let's not pass that. So you're gonna wanna probably set your spawn because if you die, you're gonna spawn all the way back at Gravito. So you're gonna talk to Brad over here, who's gonna give you a bubble. And once you get the bubble, follow exactly what I do. Now we're in Fishman Island where you're gonna be for a long time up until level 325. And you're gonna set your spawn right here and you're gonna to come to the back of this island, well, right over here and talk to this NPC, which you're gonna pretty much farm the entire time. This is probably one of the more toxic quests. Now we're back at Shells and to get to level 500, because from here on out, we're going to go to the second sea now. From Shells, we're going to go directly in between West and Northwest. So let's go, so we're going in between West and Northwest. And as you can see, we're on the island reverse mountain, but in order to talk to this monkey that will take us to the second sea, we have to go find the the world map, I think that's what it's called, which I believe is uh, between kind of north and northeast. You're going to fly kind of in between north and northeast. Okay, so I guess I was wrong because it's right over there. Anyways, here is the world scroll. You will come over here to this shrine thingy and pick it up and you'll head back to the mountain and talk to the monkey. Now, from the second sea, finally, we're gonna go to Thriller Bark, which is directly in between Northeast and East, and we're gonna fly all the way down there. Right, and as you can see, we're finally here at Thriller Bark. Now, you can go set your spawn right over here once you get to the island, but once you get here, you want to go all the way to the left side of the island. There's going to be some NPCs over here. And so we're going to talk to him real quick. This NPC should allow us to get all the way to level 500, which is crazy because that means you can completely skip Alabasta. But yeah, talk to this NPC and it should boost you all the way up to 500. Once you're level 500, we're going to go to the final island that everybody's waiting for, Dress Rosa, which is going to be about directly south from uh, this island. So we're going to fly all the way south to Dress Rosa. All right, and as you can see, we're on Dress Rosa finally. It's the island that you're gonna go all the way up until max. You can set your spawn down there. And once you get to this island, which by the way is apparently the biggest island in the game, you're going to go all the way to the other side. Now, every NPC on this island is the same level, so you could do any NPC. But if you come over here to PJ over here, I found him to be the easiest quest to do on the entire island. And he's going to have you grind these NPCs, and you could do that all the way until max level, which is 575. But yeah, that's about it for the guide. Appreciate y'all for watching, and let me know if this helped. I'll see you on the next video. Peace out.